Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first video of 2023. Um, I obviously took a bit of time off over Christmas and New Year um, but I'm so excited to be getting back into the swing of filming again um, and I'm excited for YouTube in general this year. I feel like it's going to be a good one and I'm really looking forward to all the fashion content to come. Um, but I hope you all had the most amazing Christmas and New Year. Um, hopefully you got to get a bit of time off as well. And yeah, I just hope you had the most lovely time celebrating. Um, so I thought for my first video back, I would do a bit of a sit down video because I thought I would do my 2022 fashion favourites. Um, so these are the most worn pieces in my wardrobe. Um, I've tried to stick to like autumn winter pieces because there's really no point in me showing you summer pieces right now. Um, but yeah, these are the pieces that I have been reaching for on repeat over the past few months. So kicking off my 2022 favourites with my most worn coat of the past few months. Um, I actually only bought this, I think, at the start of November, um, but I've worn it non-stop since. So I definitely wanted to give this one a mention. Um, it does come in a few different colours. Um, I went for the grey because I was missing a grey coat from my wardrobe. And honestly, I didn't know how much I needed one until I bought this. Um, I don't think I mentioned, but it's from And Other Stories, and it's the most gorgeous, like, brushed wool fabric. Um, it's got a belt and two big pockets at the front. Um, and yeah, it's just like a really nice oversized fit and goes with so much in my wardrobe. Um, I wear it all the time with other grey tones because I'm just loving grey so much this season, as you will probably know if you follow me over on Instagram. Um, but then obviously it also goes with cream tones and black. Um, you can dress it up or you can wear it really casually. Um, I love wearing it with my mini Uggs, which will be making an appearance later in the video. Um, but I know this one is still in stock, so I thought it definitely deserved a mention. Another outerwear piece I adore and have worn so much over the past few months is my Anina Bing wool blazer. Um, I think I got this at the like back end of summer. And I remember when I first showed this in a video, it divided a lot of opinion. Um, it's definitely an oversized fit. And I said I was going to keep it and get it tailored, but I never ended up getting it tailored. Um, but honestly, even still, I have worn it so, so much. Um, I still do plan on getting it tailored and having the sleeves taken in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just wear it all the time. It is my number one go-to for like an evening out. Like if I'm going for dinner or drinks, I will nine times out of 10 wear this with an all black outfit underneath. Um, so yeah, I found it has been perfect for winter but I know I'll be wearing this so much come spring and summer next year because this sage green tone goes so perfectly with lighter blue denim and also looks really nice worn over like mini dresses or denim shorts and all outfits like that. So by now I'm sure you all know how much of a fan I am of a good basic. So I thought I would mention my most reached for basics over the winter months. Um, they are these ones from H&M. They are a wool and cashmere blend and I have the black one in the crew neck and then I do have the cream one in the crew neck as well but it is currently in the wash and um, so I thought I would show you the roll neck version instead. Um, they're both the exact same material and they're quite a thin knit so a really good layering piece. Um, the materials are really soft as well and because they are wool and cashmere they do keep you really warm and um, they have little thumb holes as well which i think is a nice extra added detail and um, it really does come in handy when you forget to take out a pair of gloves and um, so yeah i think when it comes to basics it's worth investing a little bit more money into something that is really nice quality um, I don't think these were too expensive. I think they're around £50 each, which I don't think is too bad given the quality and the fact I reach for them most days. Keeping on the theme of basics, I thought I would give my favourite bodysuits a mention. 
Um, these are, of course, the Skims Fits Everybody Square Neck Body Suits. I'm sure you will have seen me mention these before. Um, I now have this in four colours. Most recently, the black one, which I got for Christmas, which I was very glad about because I just know this is going to become an absolute staple in my wardrobe as well. Um, admittedly, they are more of like a spring to autumn essential for me because it's a little bit cold right now to be wearing these and uh, maybe on a night out i would wear this one with my anina bing blazer um, but yeah come spring i will be living in these and um, they're just the most comfortable fabric they really do feel like second skin and i find them so flattering as well with the square neck and the slightly scooped back um, so yeah, obviously I have the black one, and then this one is the sienna colour, which is another one I wear a lot. Um, but I do also have a paler nude and also a brown one too. Um, and then the other Skims item I just wanted to mention are their bras. Um, I feel like these ones are also from the Fits Everybody collection, um, but they are a really basic bralette with a crossover front. Um, again, I just find them so comfortable and I find myself reaching for this literally all the time um, Even under like shirts and stuff like satin shirts where you can see a little bit poking out This will be the bralette that I go for and um, obviously it is no frills But yeah, I just love it so much and um, so I have the black one in that and then I also got the um, I think this color is called clay um, but I got this one from my sister for Christmas, which again, I was super happy about. And I feel like this nude shade is going to be really handy to have because it really does just go with everything. And you obviously can't see it under white either. Another one of my favorite purchases of the year was this Massimo Duty Boucle Cardigan. Um, I love this over the top of a super basic outfit. Um, I think adding this on top just makes your whole outfit look so elevated and put together. And I feel like it looks really, really expensive as well. Um, it was fairly pricey, to be fair, but it is literally the warmest thing in the world. As soon as you put this on, you just feel instantly 10 times more snuggly and cosy. Um, I love the textured fabric and the like gold buttons running down the middle. Um, it's a nice kind of like oversized but not too oversized fit. And yeah, I just love it so much. Um, you don't often see a piece like this on the high street. So I was really glad that I snapped it up. Um, I don't actually think the cream version is in stock anymore. Um, I did have a brief look and I couldn't see this one online, but they do now do it in black, which is equally gorgeous. And if I wasn't on a spending ban, I would be tempted to buy that one too. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this piece. Um, it's perfect for like lunches or like any kind of slightly dressy event where you just want to look really chic and put together. Um, this is the piece that I will always reach for. Of course, I have to give my Abercrombie faux leather trousers a mention because these form like the base of 90% of my outfits throughout winter. They are just so comfortable and they just go with everything. So I really do find myself reaching for these on um, a daily basis. Uh, so I have two styles and I couldn't pick which one is my favorite. So I thought I would mention both. Um, these ones are the 90s straight ultra high rise and um, they're a bit longer so I love these with trainers or with my ultra mini Uggs um, or you can also wear them with heeled boots as well um, and also heels. I have worn these on nights out before. Um, I love the fact that the hardware on them is black so they go with everything and um, they've got belt loops so you can definitely add a belt if you want to. Um, they're just a really classic faux leather pair of trousers, a great great fit and yeah like I said really comfortable. Um, and then the other pair are the ankle straight high rise. Um, these ones I probably don't wear quite as much but I do wear them a lot as well um, because these ones work perfectly with my chunky like ankle boots and um, because they are ankle length they just sit at the perfect length to wear with flat boots 
Um, so I wear these ones more casually usually, but I have also worn them with my little pointed toe kitten heels for meals out. Um, so yeah, they are again a really versatile one that you can dress up or down. And then my final clothing favourite before we move on to some accessories are my Arquette wool trousers. Um, and I feel like this video is just a very accurate representation of how if I like something, I will buy it in every colour because I do also own these trousers in the black as well. Um, but they're one of my favourite styles. Um, they're high-waisted and they're like a really relaxed straight leg. Um, they've got pleats down the front and again, you can really dress these ones up or down. Um, the only thing I would say about these is that they don't really work with a boot um, because they kind of like taper in at the bottom. Sometimes I just feel like it sits a bit funny when you wear them with boots. Um, so I mostly wear these with heels if I'm going to dress them up or I will wear them with the chunky trainers um, for a more like relaxed, kind of like smart casual vibe. Um, they're such nice quality. I absolutely love the brown tone, um, but of course the black ones are really, really versatile as well. Um, they just go with everything. And I thought I would definitely have to give these a mention because I know you will have seen me style them up so many times across the past few months. Moving on to some accessories and I really couldn't film a 2022 favorites or best purchases video without mentioning my Celine Triumph bag. Um, I bought this as a very big birthday treat to myself. Um, so I got it in February last year and honestly I've just worn it so so much. Um, it really was the right purchase for me to make. I spent a lot of time thinking about it beforehand and yeah I think I definitely made the right decision. Um, I got the medium size and um, it fits all of my essentials. It's the perfect size for every day. Um, I love how minimal and chic it is. Um, I did hear before I bought this that the leather is very fragile and it does scratch easily. Um, I've obviously had mine for like 10 months now and I haven't actually seen a single scratch on it yet. Fingers crossed, touch wood, that we don't scratch it. But I've worn it so much, I wear it pretty much every day and I am yet to scratch it. So yeah, I wouldn't say it's like too, too fragile. Um, so yeah, personally, I wouldn't let that put you off if you are thinking about buying this bag. Um, the only thing I would say is because it is a shiny leather, it does pick up like marks quite easily. So I always have like little bits of makeup on here. Um, obviously you can wipe them off, but that is one thing to consider. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely happy with my purchase and I can't wait to continue styling this bag up for years to come. Um, and then I also wanted to mention my Celine belts. Um, it probably is a little bit excessive that I have the bag and also the black belt. Um, but I bought the tan one first and I loved it so much and wore it all the time. So I decided to pick up the black one as well. Um, and I think if you are a big Celine fan like me, but the bag is like too much of a splurge, then the belts are a really good way to dip your toe into the brand. Um, again, they are obviously very expensive. Um, and not long before I bought the black one, I noticed that there was a price increase, which was annoying. Um, and since I bought this, there has been another price increase. So they are really getting quite expensive now, um, but I do love them so much. So I thought I would mention. Um, so I have the black one in the like regular size. I will leave the exact one linked below, um, but this is the like thicker size. Um, and then my tan one is in the small size. Um, so you can see the difference. It is quite a bit thinner and also the like clasp bit is quite a bit smaller as well. Um, but the reason I got this one was more to wear in the summer over um, like dresses to belt them in and also blazers. So I think it is the perfect size for that. Um, whereas I wanted the black one more as like a typical waist belt to wear with jeans and trousers. Next up we have my Ultra Mini Uggs. 
Um, again, I have them in two colours, but you definitely don't need both of these because they do pretty much go with the same kinds of outfits. Um, I got these ones first. Oh, these are the Antelope shade, which are more of a cool toned brown. Um, and then I did pick up the chestnut ones when I saw them come back in stock. Um, and to be honest, I do wear these ones more because I just find that they go with a little bit more than the cooler toned brown pair. Um, I know these are definitely a trend piece and they aren't for everyone, but they are honestly, undeniably, the most comfortable shoes in the world. And because I work from home, um, I have a dog, I'm always out like running errands and on dog walks and things, um, I reach for them so, so much and they are just so comfortable and easy to pair with casual outfits. Um, I wear them with my leather trousers, I showed you earlier. Um, I wear them with leggings. Um, they also look really nice with a mom jean or a straight leg jean paired with some like ankle length socks. Um, and yeah, I just love them. Um, I know they won't be for everyone, but they were definitely a good purchase for me personally. And then the final favourite I wanted to mention is another bag and this one is my Demelia London and um, I think this is the midi New York and um, I have the like off-white color and um, I was a little bit worried about getting the white one because I wasn't sure whether I'd wear it as much in the winter as I would in the summer but I have definitely proved myself wrong because I wear it all the time and um, it goes really nicely with grey tones um, but also with winter neutrals and black outfits as well. Um, it's such a perfect size and um, it definitely fits everything I need to take out on a daily basis um, and I don't have like many other like bigger bags. So this has definitely been a welcome addition to my wardrobe. Um, I love the shape of it as well. I think it's really unique and you can wear like the little clasp done up or open for a more casual feel. So those are all of my 2022 best purchases and fashion favourites. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know you will have seen all of these pieces styled up on my YouTube before, um, but I thought it would be useful just to like group them all together and chat through them. And um, that way, if you are thinking about making any purchases for the new year, um, then these are all of my tried and tested faves. Um, but thank you so, so much for watching. Um, please do give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And hopefully I will see you for my next video. Bye.